Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Nikki Vance and welcome to my office. I wanted to add another segment to Oregon State Police's Help ID Me series. And we have another case for you today that I'd like to tell you about. And hopefully something about this case may jog your memory and allow you to help us solve the mystery in Polk County. On September 1st, 1996, some loggers found the remains of a white female down a logging road uh, off of a logging turnout in Polk County. The road that these remains were found off of was called Panther Creek Road, and it was a pretty well-known logging road. However, the area where the body was discovered was not well-traveled at all. There were some trails around and near where the body was found, but again, the vegetation, the foliage around the body did not appear to have been disturbed for quite a long time. So let me tell you a little bit about this individual. This is a white female, but she has a little bit of a wider nose, so we're thinking that she might have some genetic admixture. And that's the way anthropologists talk about uh, the way our mixed genetic material produces our physical characteristics. So really what that means is we all have genetic admixture at this point, but she might look uh, maybe a little bit more African-American than uh, an average Caucasian person. The one thing that anthropology cannot do, however, is tell anyone what the skeletal remains skin color was in life. So we take this type of analysis with a huge degree of caution. But in this sample, our remains are that of a white female. And again, her nose is a little whiter and we'll show you pictures of her composite to give you an idea of what she may have looked like. This white female was probably somewhere around middle age, between 45 and 65 perhaps. She had a full upper denture. And the way we know that is because she actually had no teeth in life uh, on her upper palate. So we're thinking that she wore a denture. We did not find the denture at the crime scene, however. So think about that characteristic and whether or not you know someone Again, remember September 1996 was when she was found. Did you know a white female that had an upper denture that is missing at this point? So our female in Polk County was between five foot two inches tall and five foot six inches tall in life. She had dark brown or graying hair that had, again, a little bit of gray in it, and it was relatively short. We did find some of her hair. The very compelling thing about this case, though, is that Polk County Sheriff's Office believes it is a homicide. This woman was not, was not just found off of a logging road. She was found wrapped in a blue tarp. Not just one blue tarp, but two blue tarps. And those tarps were tied with a fabric rope. This is an indication to our law enforcement officials that obviously she was not placed there by any natural conditions and someone placed her there on purpose. So they consider this a homicide. When this individual was examined by our medical examiner's office in 1996, she had no clothing associated with her, no jewelry, nothing to give us any indication of what her identity was. But there's something very, very interesting about her skeleton that I'd like to tell you about now. She has on her cranium, on her forehead, a very large scar on the left side of her frontal bone. This would indicate one of maybe two things. Number one, she may have gotten some sort of a craniotomy, some sort of a cranial surgery, survived that cranial surgery, and was alive for many years afterwards. That scar on the bone of her forehead is completely healed, so we know she survived that. Number two, that may have been an injury that she survived. Again, it's an arc shape, it's curved, and we're not sure if it produced a scar in her skin or if it was due to a surgery, if it produced no scar. So think about the fact that this woman was found in 1996. One of the other facts that we know is that she was probably out there in the woods exposed to the elements for around a year, so not very long. Uh, definitely not five or ten years, probably between one and two years she was exposed to the elements. 
So somewhere between 1994 and 1996, a white female, middle-aged, with dark brown hair that was graying, went missing. She had probably a full upper denture and she had survived some sort of head trauma, either a surgery or a, a, a car accident perhaps. If you can think of someone you know in Polk County, in Oregon, even in the nation that fits these descriptions, that fits these physical characteristics, we would like your help. We would like your help in the Help ID Me series. One of the things you could do is call the Polk County tip line. That tip line is 503-623-1878. They would much appreciate any information you might have. In addition to that, we would love for you to go to the National Missing and Unidentified System website, also known as NamUs, and look up this individual on the website. Her number is number 9457. And you can see her composite pictures and you can see some of the details of her case. If you've got information, please call that tip line. Polk County is waiting to hear from you. And it's really been my honor to bring you this compelling story for our Help ID Me series. Okay, here's the deal. We have a full DNA profile on this individual and it's been uploaded into the national DNA system. It's being compared against all the missing persons in the nation on a weekly basis. It hasn't hit on anything yet. So there's someone out there that's missing that we need to find and produce a DNA sample from them as well. Maybe from a family member, maybe from a toothbrush that they left behind. That's really the key to identifying these remains in Oregon. Our DNA samples are uploaded into the system and then they have to match to something. We need your help in order to produce that DNA profile that those remains can be associated to.